Hello, beautiful souls. Mwah, mwah. I'm Tara Love Perry. Welcome to your free healing session with I Love You Me Process. So before I take you on a really beautiful and efficient, effective, empowering journey inside yourself to clear and heal, resolve, bring completion to any blocks that you have, any fear, any trauma, um, it works on all kinds of things. Um, I haven't yet found something that this amazingly simple technique doesn't work with. So, um, and before I take you on that journey, I'm just going to check in and see who's here. Naborara, hello. Thank you for inviting me here. It's such a pleasure. And we have Nita currently. Hi, Nita. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me first, just for a few minutes, so that you can, well, basically, like, why am I here? Why am I going to take you on this journey? Who am I? Why should you listen to me? I'm going to give you a little snippet of information about me. And in the meantime, what I'd like you to do is have a little feel inside yourself, have a little connection to you, and think or feel about your biggest trauma right now, your biggest pain, your biggest block, the thing that is most tripping you up in life and not allowing you to succeed. And when you've thought of something, I'm going to switch my phone off, maybe you want to do the same so I'm not interrupted. Um, when you've thought of something, just type it in the in the box there, in the comments box. Um, if you just want to put one word or a sentence, that's great. You don't have to go into massive detail. Just something like that just says what it is that you would like to clear. It could be your self-worth. It could be that you're struggling with money. It could be that you're struggling with relationships. It could be that, you know, whatever it wants, whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> so while you're thinking of that, I'm just going to tell you a little tiny bit about me. My name is Tara. And yes, that's an Indian name for those of you tuning in from India. Um, I was actually named by an Indian guru's mother. Um, he's called Prem Rawat and he's otherwise known as uh, Guru Maharaji. He comes from Hardwa in India a long, long time ago. He travels around the world internationally now, uh, speaking to millions and millions and millions of people. But it was his mother that actually named me Tara. So that's kind of cool for all you Indian viewers. Great, you're already putting down your issues. That's brilliant. Um, I live in Brighton in the UK. I'm an author of a book. Let me show you, actually. Author of this book, I Love You, Me, Seven Steps to Transformational Self-Love. And that's kind of like a workbook that takes you through the seven-step process that I'm going to take you through in a moment. And I basically, uh, I've been a soul reader for the last 15 years professionally, which basically means I'm very empathic, very psychic. I'm clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, and I basically tune in on people's soul energy and can give you a reading on that. And I've been traveling around the world doing this for many years. I have many customers all around, all around the globe. And what I learned over this uh, time, over this process of reading people, was that there's people experience a lot of blocks mostly subconscious because if it was conscious in your like in your awareness now that you're presently um, connected to if you have a conscious if you have a conscious problem then you can easily come up with a solution and fix it but all of us are suffering from problems that are stored in our subconscious mind where we have a trauma where we've had something which has not been completed not ever been resolved for us where um we have a bad memory of something and we could never come to terms with it. We could never get over it. And a lot of these subconscious traumas and blocks are from our childhood or from our birth situation. And even previous to your birth, when you're in the womb and you're already getting that impact, that conditioning from your parents, from your mother around you. So, of course, it's hard. To, it's hard for us to see those kinds of things. And it's because of these issues and problems that I received, if you like, a channeling or a download of how to heal and cure these blocks in people's psyche so that you could clear your soul, so that you could clear your mind, so that you could clear your emotional uh, bodies 
and you could be more prosperous, you could be more happy, you could really fulfill your potential. And so this guidance came through and, um, and it's really, really powerful. I've been using it all around the world for the last nine years since 2008. Actually, that's 10 years, 2008. And, um, and I'm going to share a very quick, simple process with you tonight. Or maybe you're in a different time zone this afternoon. If you're in a different uh, country, maybe it's still morning for you. Um, but as you can see, UK is dark. Uh, it's also winter. That's why I'm wearing this big fat cozy jumper is freezing outside we have snow um so i'm going to just take you through that really beautiful quick immersion right now so let me just have a look so you're in the afternoon hello yohi yo heli beautiful name hello gorgeous nice to have you join us and kim's here hi kim hi guys so if you have a, an issue that you'd like to clear a block that you want to clear something that's not allowing you to be your fullest, greatest self, it's really getting in your way. Do you wanna just type it now into the comments box and I can address it? Um, so what Nita is saying, marriage, son issues and mother illness, because there's a few things there. Nita, I suggest that you choose one right now. And actually what can happen during this process is you can also hit upon the biggest issue inside of you. Maybe you're aware of it and maybe you're not. Maybe you have an idea that it's one issue and then we go into this journey and you discover it's something else. And if that's what happens to you, it's completely fine. Like, let it change. Let whatever's the biggest issue for you right now just arise and be with that instead, okay? So don't get too caught up in it in your mind about which one's right and which one's not right. Don't even worry about that. Let me just give you a heads up. This technique is not going to serve your intellect. It's going to serve your inner self, your sentient self, your inner child, your heart, your soul. Your mind might be a little bit lost at the door and that's completely fine. Just don't worry about it, okay? Uh, let's have a look. What other issues have we got? Romance, uh, marriage, okay. Self-love issues and fear of success are huge. I get you, Kim. Actually, I've had that fear as well. I totally understand. <clears throat> Okay, so when you're ready, and I'm sure more people will be joining as we're going along, which is totally cool. And those of you that aren't watching this live, but you're getting it later, just do the same thing because I can come back to this thread and have a look and see what your issues are, okay, and help you and support you further. I'm just going to move my computer down a little bit so you can see my body. So what I'd like you to do is relax back, like find a comfy chair, some cushions, maybe on your bed, whatever feels right for you. You don't have to sit up here in some nice yogic posture, although if that works for you, go for it. I recommend you don't, though. <laughs> I recommend you, like me, get a cushion, get a chair. <sighs> we want to relax, okay? So I'm going to tilt my screen so you can see me a little bit more. Relax. And all you need to do is close your eyes and listen to my voice. And I'm going to invite you to do a set of things. One of those things is to do what I'm doing now with my hands, which is to bring your hands to your body. Anywhere that feels comfortable, anywhere that feels like you are connecting with you, because this is about turning your sensory awareness that goes out there trying to love everybody else, trying to be a good person, trying to get it right, trying to look perfect, speak perfect, act perfectly, so that everybody else will love you. And this is where we go, hmm, I wonder if that's really working. I wonder if that's getting me the love that I want, the success that I want, the health that I want. It can be quite exhausting. And it can be very disappointing when you don't get those results, when you're putting so much effort out there into the world to other people. So what you're going to do here is turn your awareness back to you. Now, if you're not used to doing this, it's going to be a little bit tricky. But if you've done any kind of meditation or mindfulness at all, then you might be a bit more familiar. You might find this easier. And there's very, very simple ways just to bring your hands to connect. It might be that your head there's a lot of activity up here and you just want to hold your head. It might be that you have a block going on in your throat. It might be that you have a pain in your heart. It might be that you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed. Just you bring your hands to your body. Don't even think about it. You're 
intuitive senses will automatically know where your hands go. And it's a bit like holding yourself the way that the way that you wish somebody else would hold you. To really connect to you, it's as if your hands are saying, I see you, me. And you're going to allow your sense of touch to almost penetrate through the skin barrier and connect into the sensations, the emotions and the feelings inside of you. And I'm also going to invite you to breathe in a certain way that you're probably not used to. So I really recommend, I, I see people not doing this so often, they decide that they're going to listen to what I'm saying, but they're not going to do what I'm asking them to do. And if you do that, then that's okay. However, this might not work for you. In order for something new and different to happen in your life, you need to do something new and different. Does that make sense? If you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get the same results. So I'm going to give you a different way of breathing that's just for this technique. Afterwards, you can go back to normal. And I promise you, if you follow my guidance and you trust this process and you just allow it to happen, you are going to have a result. OK. And the third thing I'm going to do is request that you copy me and say certain things out loud. Now, if you're in a cafe or somewhere, <laughs> if you're somewhere in public, uh, that might be a bit strange for you. Then you kind of just whisper it under your breath, maybe. <laughs> um, but if you're at home and there's no one else around and that's the ideal situation, then it doesn't matter. No one can hear you. I just want you to say it out loud, OK? Um, again, for the same reasons as before, you, you need to say these things and your ears need to hear them, OK? And... It's going to benefit you if you do this. It's not going to benefit you so much if you choose not to. So I'll just let you decide what's right for you. OK, um, by the way, if you have any questions along the line, just type them into that comment box right there um, so I can guide you the best that I can. <clears throat> Are you ready, guys? So gently closing your eyes. Relaxing into your chair or wherever you are. Bringing your hands to connect with your body. Oh, and I'd like you to take a deep sigh like that. Just really oh, let it go. And again, soften and open the mouth and allow your breath oh, to come in through the mouth like a sigh. Really gently, not so that you're gasping like that, really gently. Oh, and it really helps to tilt the head back ever so slightly in that surrender, you know, like a sunflower in the field. We're just going to surrender to your own spirit. You're going to surrender to the light. You're going to surrender to life itself as life breathes this breath into you igniting your your whole being your body your mind into life look with this breath with this breath comes life so you're going to open like a beautiful flower the way that the flowers open to the sunlight you're going to soften your forehead your eyes your face your mouth your cheekbones your jaw your lips your tongue your throat like a child, completely let go. Feel the weight falling off the mind. Feel the spine softening down the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, feel the chest softening and the shoulders dropping. Oh, allow yourself to do that ever so gently. And then just to continue receiving your breath in through your mouth. Really, really gently so that you're not pulling the air. You're not forcing, you're literally just softening and opening like a flower. All the way down. So your throat is softening and the space inside of you, that channel that the breath comes through softens like the lungs the diaphragm 
the tummy. It feels like a central column that runs through the middle of your body, just opening up. Really gently so that the throat doesn't get sore. You're feeling the breath ripple across your tongue. You can feel the sensation of the breath. You can feel it trickling down the back of your throat. You can feel it tumbling down inside of you. Oh, like an incredible waterfall of your spirit. This is your spirit. Without this energy, without this invisible force of life entering you, entering this body, you simply don't exist. And you can't control it. This force is bigger than you. This force says when you're born, when you live, and when you stop living. This is the force that's actually way bigger than you. And you can call it God or source or universe or goddess or whatever you like, but right now we're just going to call it breath. We're going to call it life. And feel it filling up your tummy. That waterfall going all the way down to your tummy. So that when you breathe in, your tummy goes out. And when you breathe out, the tummy goes in. You're just like a little baby, like a total little baby, just softening your whole body all the way down to your hips and your bottom and your legs. And your awareness is noticing this breath coming in, touching you, caressing you on the inside. <clears throat> all the way down to the very base of you and then gently releasing everything that's not needed inside of you. It's like a cleansing breath of fresh air that comes in, expands you and releases anything that you no longer need. And I'd like you to, with your hands connecting to your body, I'd like you to say out loud in your first language. So if you speak Hindi, say in Hindi. If you speak German, say in German. If you speak English, say in English. OK, do your own translation. And say out loud, hello me. And take a breath. Breathe those words back in. Hello me out loud. And with the mouth open, you're just going to let the mind release and just receive your own words so that they're not hanging in the air waiting for somewhere to go. You take them. They're your medicine. And you can feel those words dropping in. OK, is that working? Hello, me. You're speaking to yourself and no one else, OK? So you want your me to hear you speaking, if that makes sense. And I'd like you to say this. Thank you, me, for being here. And receive. Thank you, me, for being here right now in this body. In this life. Right now. Let that penny drop. Let the information drop down somewhere inside of you. As you continue to breathe and receive your own words and connect with your hands how you feel that. How does it feel? It's like swallowing water. You can feel it going down and you can connect. And I'd like you to say this out loud now. Well done, me for being here. Well done, me. I love you, me. Okay, I love you, me. Just translate that exactly the way I've said it. Oh, and you might have to take a very deep breath in to receive that one. Let it go down, let the medicine trickle down of your words and meet that part of you that 
needs to be met, that needs to be held. <coughs> okay. And now we're going to go with this beautiful awareness and with your breath, because you've bonded now, you've got a marriage happening between your awareness and your breath, you and your breath. And we're going to take that awareness with your breath to the part of you that's not doing so well, to the part of you that's got stuck somewhere. So that part of you that's saying, oh, I'm so alone. That part of you that might be saying, I really want to uh, have my true love. I really want a marriage. I really, really, really want to find love. I really want to be successful. You might also go to that part of your heart or your mind, which is saying, I am terrified of being in a marriage. I'm terrified of somebody loving me. It might be that you're terrified of being successful like Kim was saying in the thread. You want to find, even if it doesn't have a, a label or it doesn't have words, where you have a part of you that's feeling anxious, scared, tight, unhappy, just some kind of negativity that's blocking you right now. So you're not going to find it with your mind, by the way. Don't try and think the solution. We're going to feel the solution. So just breathe, just how I showed you like this. <sighs> Full body breath, okay? Fully let go. And I'd like you to say it out loud to yourself. Copy my words now. Hello me. That is not okay right now. Hello me that is struggling. Hello me that's suffering. Hello me that maybe your feeling is longing. Maybe that's the right word to say for your emotion. Hello me that's longing for love. I'd like you to say hello me that is scared or hello me that is angry or whatever the feeling is. I want you to name it yourself because only you know exactly the right way to, to speak out, to say your problem of how you feel. Just that one feeling. Hello, me, that's alone. Hello, me, that's empty. Whatever the right word is for you. And I want you to put your hands on the part of your body that feels that. And I want you to breathe into that place that's feeling that. So that little you that lives up in your mind that's always thinking, you're going to slide down with your breath now. You're just going to breathe your awareness, that take that awareness from your head instead of finding the solution up here, which you can't. You're going to bring that awareness into your breath. And let it go to that part that's in pain, that part that is not happy, the part of you that's not okay right now. And you speak aloud, hello me, that's not okay. And you breathe into it. You let your breath fully, like a balloon, going in and expanding that area where you're feeling the pain or discomfort or the negative emotion. You're not going to avoid, you're doing, going to do exactly the opposite. And you're going to let your awareness drift into that space so that you can see and hear and feel what's happening in that space inside of you. Hello, sad me. Hello, upset me. Hello, me that's terrified of being successful. And you're going to say to yourself out loud, I am so sorry. And you're going to feel empathy for you. I want you to engage your ability to sympathize and empathize with yourself right now. Like, huh? Poor you, me. Poor me, you know? We often avoid the poor me. We don't want to get stuck there. And that's totally the right way of doing things is to not want to get stuck but the thing is it's a bit like when you got hooked onto something 
and you keep trying to pull away, you just end up tearing yourself apart. You end up in a tug of war. You end up in a fight. And all you need to do is go back to the place that's hooked and unhook. And then you can let go. So that's what we have to do right now. We have to go to that part that's in pain and struggle and not okay and gently unhook. And, and the way that we do that is by empathizing. I am so sorry. Say the words out loud. So sorry, me. And you bring your hands to whatever part of you feels that pain. So if you were in pain, I would put my hands to you. And I'd say, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for your pain. I'm so sorry that you are frightened. I'm so sorry that you are alone and you can't find a partner. I'm so sorry that you're struggling with money. I'm so sorry that you are ill and you're feeling helpless and you're at your wits end and you don't know what to do. Do you understand? I'm empathizing, I'm connecting with you with my whole awareness and you need to do that for you right now. I'm so sorry, me, that you're struggling, that you're lonely, that you're lost. And whatever words of sympathy and love you can give yourself, I want you to say it. Every single part. I'm so sorry you've been looking for a partner for so long. You've been waiting for so long. I'm so sorry. And you breathe and you let the breath go to that place that's feeling the pain. You know the exact right words to say. It's intuitive. You would say it to your beloved. You would say it to your child or your best friend or your mother. And this is where you now say it to you. Ah, oh, and you breathe. And you let that sink in. Receive the words. So important to receive. And then you say, please forgive me, me. Right. This is that point where sorry means I'm I found the hook. Please forgive me means I'm unhooking. Please forgive me, me. Please forgive me, sad, lonely me. Please forgive me, terrified of success, me. Please forgive me, angry, alone, whatever your words are. Please forgive me that you're suffering, that you're in pain, that it's been years or however long it's been. You're really validating your problem. You are saying and seeing and feeling everything like a truly loving person would do. And I'm imagining you've possibly been waiting a lifetime for somebody else to acknowledge you in this way. And the chances are of that happening are very slim. And that's why you have to do it for you, because nobody else can really, truly see your pain and suffering the way that you do. It's very personal, our, our own story. <clears throat> so I'd like you to say to yourself, please forgive me, me, that you have suffered by yourself all this time. And say, I see you, me. I feel you, me. I hear you, I hear your pain. Please forgive me. Oh, take another long, deep breath. Drink your spirit in. Let your spirit go to that place and change everything. Let it cleanse, let it release. And hold yourself with your hands so you're not being abandoned anymore. You're being connected with, you're being held in whatever you're going through right now, okay? You can even wrap yourself, arms around yourself like this and say, thank you, me. Thank you, me. I love you, me. Okay, say that out loud and say it with your eyes closed as you go to this place that was in pain and you say, I love you. I love you, me, that's scared of success. I love you, me, that's angry and hurt with my husband. I love you, me, that needs to be loved and have attention. I love you, me, that's lonely and lost. I love you, me, that was in pain. I love you. I love you. 
whatever the right words are, you pour your adoration and love with your whole heart. Please forgive me. I love you. And then drink it in. Drink the words in. Don't let them wander off somewhere or don't let your mind get in the way and block the flow. <coughs> and say, thank you, me. <coughs> Excuse me. Say, thank you, me. Thank you. And then a number of things could go through your head. Am I saying thank you because I've listened to myself? <coughs> Am I saying thank you because I've had a change? Because I've received my own love? You're going to realize something new right now. Excuse me. <coughs> I've got a little thing in my throat. Mm -hmm. Say, well done me. Well done me for listening. Well done me for receiving. Well done me for choosing to let go. Well done me for just being me. Well done me. Hmm. Save the feelings. Just let it all settle down. You might be crying. Oh, you might have a mixture of emotions as everything gets released. And you're going to say this final thing, which is really important. Please come home, me. <clears throat> Please come home, me, right now. To the absolute truth that I am. Thank you. Please come home, me. You're making a request. To the absolute truth that I am. Right now. Breathe. Thank you, me. Well done. You might want to give your head a little stroke because your head might be going, what on earth just happened? You've got rearranging beliefs happening in your head right now. Just give your head a little stroke. Oh, it's all right. Everything's OK. Give yourself a little hug. Well done, me. I love you, me. Thank you, me. You can say that as often as you like. All day, every day. Hello, me. Thank you, me. Well done, me. I love you, me. <laughs> you can just make that your mantra because it will just clear. It's like cloud busting, you know, if you ever stared at a cloud and with your mind, you're breaking it apart so that the sunshine can come back out. We do that in England anyway, because it's cloudy all the time. <laughs> uh, and it's just like that. I love you, me, well done, me, thank you, me. Thank you, me, for being here. In this body, I love you, well done. That can just break through pain so quickly. So practice, see how that works out for you. So how did you find that, guys? Would you just type me something in the comment box? How did you find that experience? That was so beautiful, says Kim. And of course, this is just a tiny weeny little taster. It's like giving you one sip of some delicious elixir, some delicious healing liquid. You've just had one sip. Now imagine you loved it, Kim. Thank you. You feel lighter. That's brilliant. See, that's what always happens. That's what everybody says. Now, because you've just had a teeny weeny little taste, imagine how it would be if you poured liberally over all of the parts of you that have got stuck in your adulthood, in your teenagehood, in your childhood, even going back to your birth and then being in the womb. Imagine if you could go back and every every time you you couldn't get completion, you couldn't come to terms, you had pain, you suffered and it, you never got over it. Imagine if we could pour that medicine over every single part of you inside, over all those memories that I know are buried deep down inside of you. Because as a soul reader, I see them and they're all still alive right now in your present moment. They're not in the past at all. We think that the past is the past and the future is the future, but actually it's all happening right now simultaneously. So when I soul read, I'm seeing everything that ever happened to you ever is right there in front of me right now. 
So something that happened in your past is still affecting you now and will continue to affect you in your future unless you can go right to the core and meet it and unhook it and resolve and dissolve that original trauma, not just leave it sitting there by itself somewhere feeling unhappy, but we're going back to meet it, resolve it, dissolve it, completion and turn that what was block and blockage and painful and darkness into light, into love, into your thriving, into more energy that's creative and amazing for you. Does that make sense? Yeah, I hope that makes sense. You have a lot of healing to do and a lot of childhood issues, Kim. Sweetheart, you are not alone. You, me and everyone on this planet has a lot of issues to clear. And I would love to share more about this with you because I've been doing this work for such a long time. I have an, a really unique insight, I think, because of the work that I do. And a, a lot of people know me as the spiritual midwife because I can take people on that journey so that you're doing the work, but I'm guiding you and I'm totally with you and can experience it with you so you're not alone and help you to resolve and clean out all this junk, all this crap out of your life that's stopping you from being this magnificent, incredible being that you actually are, okay? And so for anybody that's watching, if you live in the UK or you can get to the UK easily or you fancy an adventure, <laughs> okay? Because I don't know where all the different people will be watching this from, you know, Facebook is global. So um, what I can say is on the 10th and the 11th of March in Brighton, which is the south of England, southeast of England, 10th and 11th of March, I'm holding a weekend event and the ticket price is extremely low, okay? I'm not making money on this event. I promise, I swear on my life that this event is not to make money. Um, of, don't, we won't go into those details, but basically, I'm, I'm creating a space, a, a sacred, held, beautiful space for those of you who want to come and do this for a whole weekend. And I will midwife you through this process. And you can clear and clean to your heart's content whatever's blocking you. We're going to go to specific areas of love and, and intimate relationships and parent, sorry, parent relationships, so mum and dad, and your you know relationships with your intimate partner or if you want one to clear those blocks and we're also going to work on the issues of love and wealth and abundance and money and where you're blocking that okay because i believe the world would be a whole lot better place if everyone was able to love more and have more abundance you know love and abundance what a world we would have okay so we're going to focus on those two things for two days i invite you to drop in and go through a self-love immersion with me now, if you want to come, all you have to do is if you look above, um, I think it's above this video, you should see, click here for more details, and you can see there's a link there that's lit up in blue. You click on that link, and it will take you to the page where you can learn more and where you can book your ticket, and I will send you all of the details, and it's going to be amazing. I, I know that every single time I do this work with a group of people, um, we have incredible transformation, incredible healing. Uh, and in fact, if every single person in that room is not crying and then laughing with relief afterwards, I know I haven't done my job properly. So I guarantee you are going to have transformational results. And if you don't and you're not happy, I'll just give you your money back. OK, because like I said, this is about love. This is about abundance. I'm not here doing this event to make money from you. I want you to have this self-love immersion experience. So with all that said, we've been on here way longer than I planned on being here with you. So thank you for sharing this time. Thank you for still being here. Now, just click on that link and get the details. And maybe even if you can't make it, maybe you can think of somebody else who you know, if they love themselves just a little bit more, that it would totally change their life. And I know that every single one of us has at least one person in our life like that. And what if you just shared that link with them? What if you just said, hey, why don't you come? Um, and, and by the way, if you do that, then I can also give you a referral um, reward. I'm basically, you know, people who spread this love by word of mouth 
I'm giving rewards to. I will actually give you half the price of their ticket when they buy it. So you get you get a benefit, they get a benefit, I get a benefit, everybody wins, okay? Um, and especially if you're the kind of person and you're interested in being a healer or you're already a practitioner or a therapist or a healer or a coach or you help people in some way and you want to help more, then this event is perfect for you because you're going to come and have an experience for yourself and then you're going to automatically be thinking of all the people whose lives you can help change and i will be telling you how you can use this technique to help other people okay so it's just about spreading love this whole thing is like love yourself and then you can become the source of love for so many more people on this planet starting with you okay starting with you you're the most important one so thank you so much for listening i love you so much and click that link and i can't wait to see you okay Mwah. take care so much love mm <laughs>